standard way to replace fence posts is to either dig out the existing concrete that they are set in, which is labor intensive, or to buy brackets such as Simpson Strong Ties, which are unsightly. I came up with this pretty simple and fast method to replace rotted fence posts several years ago, and as far as I know, it hasn't been offered on, on the internet yet. The method consists of setting a 1 inch EMT conduit pin in the existing cement that the rotted post was set in, and then setting the new post over that pin and securing it with polyurethane glue such as Gorilla Glue. I've used this process to replace cedar rail fence posts, but I believe it would work equally well on line posts for a regular fence. The post you see above is an end post with a mailbox on top that I replaced six years ago. It is as rigid as the day I installed it, and you would never know that the post isn't set in the ground. My experience with cedar posts such as these is that they last in the ground 12 to 15 years, but I suspect this method will ca cause them to last longer and prevent the rot. So here you can see the conduit pin plumbed and set in the five, five minute fence post concrete that basically is going to provide the support for your new post. And here I'm trial fitting the rails and the post over the pin to make sure that everything lines up and is plumb. So if you're going to use this method, here is what you will need. I find that EMT conduit works fine and is rugged enough for most applications. You could substitute galvanized pipe if you're looking for overkill. Quick set fence post concrete is the way to go, but you could also substitute regular mortar. It will just take longer to set. If the old fence post is intact above the ground, then you can remove it and reuse it after cutting off the rotted underground portion. That was the case for the post I showed you at the beginning of this video. The rest of the supplies are straightforward. Most of these tools are straightforward except for the ship, ship auger. These run about $30 and you'll need a fairly heavy drive drill to drive it. The pry bar is for cleaning out the rotted wood of the existing hole. Another way to clean out the hole is to drive the conduit into the rotted, rotted wood with the sledgehammer and remove the wood that is rammed up the center of the con conduit. Just don't get too ambitious by driving the conduit down to the point where you can't remove it. So here we go. I've broken off the existing post and I'm cleaning the rotted wood out of the hole using the pry bar. Here I finished cleaning out the hole, swept off the surface of the existing concrete, concrete and cut the EMT conduit to length. I then dr drove it into the hole with my sledgehammer. I set the conduit below the ground surface about 16 inches and plumbed it using a standard level. In this step I filled the hole with mixed grout. I also filled the conduit with grout just to make it more rigid and exclude water after the post is set. Now you'll want to measure the, the distance from the top of the grout you placed in the previous step to the top of the post and cut off the excess on the new post. I ran a string from adjacent posts to establish the distance from the grout to where the top of the post should end. Trial fit the post adjacent to the conduit pin by inserting the rails to identify where on the base to drill the hole for the pin. Once you've done that, drill the hole using the ship auger, keeping the hole aligned with the center line of the post. If you're not familiar with ship augers, see the picture at left. You can get these at most building supply locations. Once the hole is drilled, dip the end of the post in wood preservative to keep it from rotting. While you're at it, dip the ends of the rails in wood preservative. I find these rails rot once they are ins inserted in the mortises on the fence posts unless you treat them. Once again, trial fit the rails and after all the rails are inserted, lower the fence posts fully onto the grout. If everything fits right, go ahead and coat the EMT pin and the grout beneath the post with Gorilla Glue and lower the post again. After the gr gr Gorilla Glue is set, you can scrape off any excess that flowed out from around the base. If you have any gap between the bottom of the post and the grout, just add some additional grout to fill it in. So that's it. Here is a replaced post. 
I've replaced three of the four rails because uh, because of rot in the old rails. Good luck with your your project, and I hope this helps.